I love floating and illusion necklaces and that's what I make in this video today. There's some videos where I teach you how to do it and there's other videos I just have you come along with me and make some jewelry. So I'm gonna be doing a craft fair in a couple months. I haven't done one in 15 years. Are you saying? Yep, 15 years. So I need to boost up my inventory and I feel like this necklace is gorgeous just for that. So what's going on my fellow jewelers? Thanks for coming along on this ride with me and let's just have some fun as I make this necklace. Okay, so let's dive right in. You don't need many beads for this particular necklace. So you only need like four of these, five of these, two of these, you know what I'm saying? Like, and so it's a really great necklace if you don't have a lot of the same bead and you want to make something. Okay. So I have three of my wires. I have three spools of wires, uh, 0.45, which is the thickest out of these three, a 0.3 and a 0.3. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unroll just a bit just just to go to here and then i'm going to make this one the same length and i'm going to spin it out now they're gonna just kind of they, they kind of have a mind of their own so sometimes they work as i do this and sometimes they don't want to work with me now there is one that's really jaded that's really really jaded right there so i am just going to cut it to make sure that there's no kinks and no other stuff at the very end because that's where we're adding our beads. Um, I have these head pins because when it comes to glass beads that are painted, sometimes the paint gets on the hole and I need to punch it out. So I have that and then I have um, just a couple of other things to make this the ne necklace. So I like starting the necklace off putting all three wires um, in the bead. So we're going to be doing the pattern where we put three of the wires in one bead and then two wires in another bead and then two different wires in the next bead. It's going to go three wire, two wire, two wire, three wire, two wire, two wire. And just a nice pattern to make that floating illusion look. And so I'm going to take one of my first big beads. I think, oh my gosh, I think these are 12, mil, 12 uh, millimeters and these are um, eight and these are six. And I think these are two. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but um, <laughs> Um, I'm not really good on measurements. I just like the bead, like the size and go with it. So the first bead, we put all three wires in. The next bead I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put two of the wires in like this. So those were my two wires here. I'm going to um, take one out like this and put it to the side and I'm gonna take um, my next wire and, add, and have it be with the wire I didn't use with that bead. And then I'm gonna add um, two more beads here, like so. Just like that. And then it's back to the pattern, three wire. So with doing this, um, I like to have the bigger beads with the three wire. I find, no, it's not gonna happen all the time, but I find that when you just put the two wires with the bigger bead, the other wire has a hard time going around the big bead. It kind of makes a weird kink in it and all that stuff. So I try to do the big beads with the three wires and the smaller beads with the two wires. But you know, sometimes it doesn't always work out like that. Okay, so now we're doing again, the three wire just like this. I love that this has been one of my favorite necklaces since day one, since starting making jewelry day one. I love making this necklace. I love making all different colors. I love using all different beads. I especially love it when I, let's say like I use up most of these beads, right? And I'm like, I only have like six left and I only have five of this and four of this. It's perfect, right? It's perfect because you don't need a lot um, of beads for this particular necklace. And then I'm gonna add these guys. And so it's just fun. It's such a fun, I feel like this is super therapeutic for me. I just have a nice time relaxing, enjoying doing my pattern, three, three, two. You don't need to think too much. And so we're just gonna go along. At the end of my videos, I love praying for my viewers. That's right, I love praying for people. Um, I have been a Christian, like madly in love with Jesus since I was 21. And I love reading my Bible. I love reading my Bible. But I wanna share one of my favorite verses of the Bible. One of my verses that the Lord has just given me year after year after year. And it's in Matthew. And it says, do not worry about your life. Do not worry about what you eat, what you drink or what you wear for the Lord knows you need these things. And he goes on to say like, what does worrying do? Like it can't add um, an hour to your life. It can't add, um, it, it can't It can't do anything, but kind of like make your life more miserable, right? Like because God knows that you um, have these needs. And so it, just, it, said, it goes on to say, if you seek, 
um, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, then everything else you need will be added to you. And so he's just kind of told me time and time again, like does, if you put me first in your life, if you put me, if you put every decision you make and you come to me and you put me first and you go, God, what do you want me to do? Or how do you want me to do this? Or I need to treat this person right because the Lord would want me to, right? Like all these things, right? If you put me first, then I will take care of you. You don't need to worry about what you eat, what you drink, what you wear. Pretty much you don't need to worry about your bills. You don't need to worry. Just do as I tell you to do. Work when I tell you. Do the things I've asked you to do, like when you need to work and when you, you know what I'm saying? Like do those things, but I will make up the difference, right? Now we're going to make sure that the three wires are exactly the same like length of the end. We need the, the exact same length, exactly. And now I have these beautiful clamshells. I'm gonna put the clamshells on first. You need to put the clamshell on first. I think this is such a great way um, to combine these three wires together. And then I need a crimping bead. I'm gonna need two. We're gonna need a crimping bead and I'm going to put my crimping bead on all three. So all three need to go. And then I'm going to bring my crimping bead up and have it have the wires just past it. Just, Cause it's gonna be in the, usually I put it flush to it, but it's gonna be in the clamshell. So I'm gonna put it just like, give them a little bit, see? Just like that. It's perfect. No one's gonna ever feel that. It's gonna be in the clamshell. I'm gonna bring the clamshell up and then you need super glue, you need, you need super glue for this because I find when I don't it doesn't work well and so this is gel super glue don't get the liquid super glue because it's gonna fall it's gonna pour all over your fingers it's gonna be awful gel is the best one to do and you just need a little dab a little dab will do ya a little dab will do ya there we go a little dab like this put my lid back on and then we're going to crimp it together oh and it was even coming on my fingers like that Oh my God, my fingers, they're running together. Look at that, three wires in one, this is great. So now we're going to um, push all these beads so they're not, so there's not such a big gap between the bead and the clamshell. That looks good, I like it. I do, I like it, I like it. Okay, now we're gonna cut pretty close. They need to be even. If they're not even, make sure you cut really even. And we're gonna do the same thing. Put it together. Oh my goodness, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, I'm so excited. Then it's gonna be easy from here. We're gonna put the clasp on and your chain to make an adjustable necklace. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna take my jump ring. And I'm going to open it. So pulling uh, one towards me and one away from me. I'm going to put it in the hole that's in the clamshell like this. And then I'm going to add my chain. This is the adjustable part. Nicely with this necklace, it doesn't matter uh, which way is front or back. So you can add the chain on either side. Like if it's right-handed, you kind of want to add the chain on the left side. Uh, and if it's uh, right handed you want to have the chain on the right side okay but it doesn't matter because this can go front or back and then I am going to take um, and my other jump ring and I'm gonna open it so for the clasp side I like to add two of my jump rings because I feel it's just easier to grab the clasp um, then with with two than with one I feel like it's just a little bit clumsier so what happens is I'm going to um, close that up this is already open and I'm going to um, put that through and then I'm gonna add my clasp now before you put your clasp on make sure you try it out to see if it works it's the worst when you put a clasp on and it doesn't even work so if you read it you can take it off find another one so just try it out before you even put it on and so we're gonna put it on the um, the jump ring and then close it up. And that my fellow jeweler is how you make that gorgeous necklace. I love it. So before we go, 
I wanna pray for you. I'm just gonna do a quick prayer. I love praying for my viewers. So I'm gonna pray for the works of your hands because the Lord loves to bless the work of our hands. Whatever we put our hand to, he wants to bless it, but you know, it's good to ask him, right? Like ask, go oh, God bless the work of my hands. So God, I thank you Lord for my viewers that, that um, whatever they're doing, whether this is just a side hustle or this is their job or whatever job they have, I pray that you bless the work of their hands, that they would feel not only satisfies, satisfied with the the, the job that they end up doing, but they also be blessed. Like people would pay lots of money for what they're doing or they would get, um, or they would do, be able to get lots of work done on their job. Whatever the case is, I pray, Lord, you would bless the work of their hands. In Jesus name, amen. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming along with me. I'm excited to do this craft fair. I'm gonna be doing more of these videos of the things I'm doing for the craft fair. I'm gonna bring you along. I can't wait. All right, love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.